Chapter 2 Shorting materials into groups Objects around us Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It is the physical substance that makes up the universe and can exist in various forms. Types of matter Solid Liquid Gas Plasma Solids Solids have a definite shape and volume. The particles in solids are tightly packed and held together by strong intermolecular forces. Examples Ice, wood, metal, rock, brick. Liquids. Liquids have a definite volume but take the shape of their container. The particles in liquids are close together but can move and flow past one another. Examples Water, milk, oil, juice, mercury. Gases. Gases have neither a definite shape nor a definite volume. The particles in gases are far apart and move freely in all directions. Examples Oxygen, Nitrogen, Hydrogen, Plasma. Plasma is a state of matter where the gas is heated to extremely high temperatures or exposed to strong electromagnetic fields, causing the atoms to lose their electrons and become ionized. Examples Stars, including the sun, lightning, neon lights, fluorescent bulbs, and plasma TVs. Properties of materials Materials refer to substances that are used to construct, produce, or modify objects or structures. They can be natural or synthetic and have distinct physical and chemical properties. Materials play a crucial role in various industries, including construction, manufacturing, engineering, and technology. Types of materials Metals Polymers Ceramics Composites Metals Metals are materials characterized by their high conductivity, malleability, and ductility. They are typically solid at room temperature, except for mercury, and have a shiny appearance. Examples Iron, Aluminum, Copper, Gold, Silver Properties Good conductors of heat and electricity High strength Ductile Malleable Polymers Polymers are large molecules composed of repeating subunits called monomers. They can be natural or synthetic and have a wide range of applications due to their versatility. Examples Polyethylene, Polypropylene, PVC, Polyvinyl Chloride, Nylon, Rubber Properties Insulating, Lightweight, Flexible, Low Conductivity, Varying Degrees of Strength and Durability Ceramics Ceramics are materials that are typically formed through the process of heating and cooling inorganic, non-metallic compounds. They are known for their high melting points and hardness. Examples Porcelain Clay, glass, alumina, silicon carbide. Properties Brittle, high hardness, high melting point, good thermal and electrical insulators. Composites Composites are materials made by combining two or more different types of materials to create a new material with enhanced properties. They often consist of a matrix and reinforcement material. Examples Carbon fiber reinforced polymers, CFRP. Fiberglass, concrete, wood composites. Properties can exhibit a combination of properties from the constituent materials. Improved strength, stiffness, and durability. Characteristics of materials. Characteristics of materials refer to their inherent qualities and attributes that define their behavior, properties, and potential applications. Here are some common characteristics of materials. Physical properties. Mechanical properties, chemical properties, optical properties, magnetic properties, physical properties, density, the measure of mass per unit volume of a material. Melting point, the temperature at which a solid material changes to a liquid state. Boiling point, the temperature at which a liquid material changes to a gas state. Solubility, the ability of a material to dissolve in a particular solvent. Thermal conductivity, the ability of a material to conduct heat. Electrical conductivity, the ability of a material to conduct. Electricity, mechanical properties. Strength, the ability of a material to withstand applied forces without deformation or failure. Hardness, the resistance of a material to indentation or scratching. Ductility, the ability of a material to deform under tensile stress without breaking. Elasticity, the property of a material to return to its original shape after deformation. 
brittleness, the tendency of a material to fracture or break when subjected to stress. Chemical properties, reactivity, the tendency of a material to chemically react with other substances. Corrosion resistance, the ability of a material to resist degradation due to chemical reactions with its environment. Flammability, the ability of a material to burn or ignite when exposed to fire or heat. Stability, the resistance of a material to changes in its chemical composition or physical properties over time. Optical properties, transparency, the ability of a material to transmit light without significant absorption or scattering. Reflectivity, the ability of a material to reflect light. Refractive index, a measure of how light bends or changes direction when passing through a material. Magnetic properties, magnetism, the ability of a material to generate a respond to magnetic fields. Ferromagnetism, the property of certain materials to become strongly magnetized when exposed to a magnetic field. Why do we need to group objects? Grouping objects is essential for efficient organization and effective communication, enabling easier retrieval, reducing clutter, and facilitating systematic classification. Grouping objects allows for streamlined workflows and optimized resource allocation, promoting efficiency in tasks and activities while also enhancing cognitive development and critical thinking skills through pattern recognition and logical thinking. Appearance of materials, color, the visual perception of a material's hue, resulting from the selective absorption and reflection of light wavelengths. Texture, the tactile or visual surface characteristics of a material, which can be described as rough, smooth, glossy, or matte. Transparency, opacity, the degree to which light can pass through a material, ranging from transparent, clear and see-through, to opaque, not allowing light to pass through. Luster, the quality and intensity of the reflected light from the surface of a material, which can be described as shiny, dull, metallic, or glassy. Pattern, the arrangement of repeated motifs, designs, or variations on the surface of a material, contributing to its visual appeal and uniqueness. Hardness and softness of materials. Hardness, hardness refers to the ability of a material to resist indentation, scratching, or deformation when subjected to external forces. Examples, diamond, which is one of the hardest known materials, steel, commonly used in construction and tools, Ceramic materials like alumina and silicon carbide, used in cutting tools. Softness. Softness indicates a material's ease of indentation or deformation when subjected to external forces. Examples. Talc, which is the softest mineral on the most scale. Rubber, known for its flexibility and elasticity. Foam materials used in mattresses and cushions. Measuring hardness. Hardness can be measured using various methods depending on the material and testing requirements, such as the Mohs scale, Wicker's hardness test, Brunel hardness test, Rockwell hardness test, Solubility and insolubility of matter. Solubility and insolubility are properties that describe the ability of a material to dissolve or not dissolve in a particular solvent. Solubility, solubility refers to the ability of a substance, solute, to dissolve in a specific solvent to form a homogeneous mixture. Examples Salt, sodium, chloride dissolves readily in water, sugar dissolves in coffee or tea, and ethanol, alcohol dissolves in gasoline. Unsolubility Insolubility indicates the inability of a substance, solute, to dissolve in a given solvent, resulting in the formation of a heterogeneous mixture or separate phases. Examples Sand does not dissolve in water, oil does not dissolve in vinegar, and sulfur does not dissolve in alcohol. Factors affecting solubility. Temperature. In general, the solubility of solids increases with increasing temperature, while the solubility of gases decreases. Pressure. The solubility of gases is influenced by pressure, with higher pressure typically increasing gas solubility in liquids. Nature of the substances. The chemical composition, polarity, and intermolecular forces of the solute and solvent influence solubility. Concentration. Saturated solution. When a solution contains the maximum amount of solute that can dissolve at a given temperature and pressure. Unsaturated solution. 
when a solution can dissolve more solute at a given temperature and pressure. Supersaturated solution, when a solution contains more solute than it should be able to dissolve at a given temperature, achieved through careful manipulation. Applications Solubility plays a crucial role in various fields, including pharmaceuticals, drug solubility for formulation. Chemistry, chemical reactions and extractions. Environmental science, pollutant solubility in water and food science, flavor extraction and formulation. Objects may float or sink in water. Objects may float or sink in water based on their density in comparison to the density of water. Here's an explanation of floating and sinking, along with examples. Floating in water. An object will float in water if its density is less than the density of water. Example. A wooden log floats in water because its density is lower than that of water. Similarly, a plastic toy boat or a foam flotation device floats due to their low density. Sinking in water. An object will sink in water if its density is greater than the density of water. Example, a metal spoon or a stone sinks in water because their density is higher than that of water. Similarly, a solid iron ball or a piece of lead sinks due to their high density. Neutral buoyancy, an object will neither float nor sink, but remain suspended at a specific depth in water, with the forces of buoyancy and gravity balanced. Example, a submarine or a fish that can adjust its swim bladder can achieve neutral buoyancy, allowing them to stay at a desired depth in water without floating or sinking. Factors affecting floating and sinking. Density. The primary factor determining whether an object will float or sink is its density in comparison to the density of water. Shape and volume. The shape and volume of an object can affect how it displaces water, influencing its buoyancy. Applications. Understanding floating and sinking is important in various applications, such as shipbuilding, designing flotation devices, understanding marine ecosystems, and ensuring the safety of objects and materials in water-related activities. Transparency Transparency is a property of materials that determines the extent to which light can pass through them without significant absorption or scattering. Transparency refers to the clarity or translucency of a material, allowing light to pass through it and enabling objects or images to be seen clearly on the other side. Transparency, along with its variations of transparent, translucent, and opaque, describes the ability of materials to transmit light. Transparent. Transparent materials allow light to pass through them with minimal scattering or absorption, resulting in clear visibility of objects or images on the other side. Examples include clear glass, clean air, and some plastics. Translucent. Translucent materials partially transmit light but also scatter and diffuse it, causing a blurred or diffused appearance. While they allow some light to pass through, they do not provide clear visibility. Examples include frosted glass, wax paper, and certain types of plastics. Opaque. Opaque materials do not allow light to pass through at all. They either absorb or reflect light, preventing the transmission of visible light. Opaque objects block the view of objects or images behind them. Examples include metals, wood, and solid rocks. Light transmission, transparency, translucency, and opacity are determined by the interaction of light with the atomic and molecular structure of materials. Transparent materials have a highly ordered structure, allowing light to pass through without scattering. Translucent materials have a partially ordered structure that scatters light, while opaque materials have a disordered structure that absorbs or reflects light. Applications Understanding transparency is important in various applications. Transparent materials are used in windows, lenses, display screens, and optical devices. Translucent materials find applications in diffusers, privacy screens, and decorative glass. Opaque materials are utilized for light blocking purposes, such as in curtains, walls, and light shields. Exercise Question 1. Name 5 objects which can be made from wood. Answer. Objects made from wood. 1. Table 2. Chair 3. Spoon 4. Door 5. Box Question 2. Select those objects from the following which shine, 
steel, spoon, glass, bowl. Answer. The objects which shine from the following are 1. Steel spoon 2. Glass bowl Question 3. Match the objects given below with the materials from which they could be made. Remember, an object be made from more than one material and given material could be used for making many objects. Answer. Objects. Materials. Book. Tumbler. Chair. Toy. Shoes. Paper. Glass. Wood. Plastic. Wood. Plastic. Glass. Wood. Paper. Leather. Plastic. Leather. Plastic. Question 4. State whether the statements given below are true or false. Stone is transparent, while glass is opaque. False. A notebook has luster while eraser does not. False. Chalk dissolves in water. False. A piece of wood floats on water. True. Sugar does not dissolve in water. False. Oil mixes with water. False. Sand styles down in water. True. Vinegar dissolves in water. True. Question 5. Given below are the names of some objects and materials. Water, basketball, orange, sugar, globe, apple and earthen pitcher. Group them as round shaped and other shaped. Eatables and non-eatables. Answer. Round shaped, other shaped, eatables, non-eatables, basketball, orange, globe, earthen pitcher, apple, water, orange, sugar, apple, basketball, globe, earthen pitcher. Question 6. List all items known to you that float on water. Check and see if they will float on oil or kerosene. Answer. Items that float on water include 1. Plastic ball 2. Balloon 3. Feather 4. Matchstick 5. Hair 6. Cane 7. Boat 8. Wood 9. Thermocol They also float on kerosene and oil. Question 7. Find the odd one out from the following. Chair, bed, table, baby, cupboard. Answer. Baby, rose, jasmine, boat, marigold, lotus. Answer. Boat, aluminium, iron, copper, silver, sand. Answer. Sand, sugar, salt, sand, milk, milk powder. Answer. Sand, 